Hi, welcome back to Spirits Tunes In to Tarot. This is your favorite spirit DJ, Bree, aka Spirit. Tonight, I'm going to do something different. This is Ophucius. Now, for all you old timers that have subscribed and newcomers, welcome, you dream weavers. Y'all are here to listen to the blasting spellcasters. The guys who write the lyrics and the music that we listen to to get our messages. Now I feel the energy through the frequencies and the tunes in the song. Um, please, you can flip it either way you want to go. Uh, get you a pen and paper and a snack and a drink or whatever tickles your fancy. Now, please don't try to fit what don't fit. In other words, don't put that square peg in a round hole unless you're really special over there. All right, the energy that I got tonight, I also put your ears on, you get a better listening, and you can also go back and review again to get some messages that you might need to to add on your paper. I'm listening in to 70s Funk Radio on Pandora, and the song it's fixing to start is The Shining Star by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay, now this is Ophucius, which is a constellation. It's called Orion's Belt. And during certain times of the month or the year, our sun goes through these constellations. Now, it's a little trickier. It's the 13th zodiac, which was taken out because, you know, it's 13. It's a bad number. I don't think so. It's very lucky for me. It also means four. If you're into numerology, look it up. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I have my notes here and, and what I got for Pi uh, not Pisces, I'm sorry, Ophucius. It is The Boys Are Back in Town, the Jailbreak album, and, you know, by Thin Lizzy, Phil Linnut was the writer. And I also got Jump. Now, this is about the romantic. He wrote the song. He was of the black culture and the white collar working, hard working people. And he made a difference. It was kind of considered heavy metal in the working class. And they didn't think he would, he would do it. And it was kind of tried to... Uh, correlate with Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen, but he was an Irish guy, and the album is kind of about love and hate. And it was during the 70s or 60s and 70s. And he finally made the single, and it really took off. And, you know, considering the men in black, Ophucius, you're the star. Go check that movie out, by the way, The Men in Black. So, it's really curious about Ophucius. And during the time between November and December 19th, if you fall anywhere in there, then you have Scorpio and Sagittarius in your chart. And I'm one of those, by the way. So, that's why I've decided to do the 13th Zodiac. So, The Shining Star by Earth, Wind, and Fire. And that's what you are, is a shining star. So let's see what the message is for Ophucius. Thank you, Holy Spirit, protect us with your angels and messages from our ancestors as well. Thank you, must be true. Thank you. So all my dream weavers out there we're getting tuned in and turned on let's go sometimes i stutter and it's okay because i'm perfect you shining star you know who you are it's shining bright to see you can truly be this song is very fitting for you guys, the Ophucius. Okay, we got the hangman. So you got your thinking cap on over here. 
Yeah. Ah, that's good because I know, Ophiuchus, you're going to come up with something really good. Shining the light on you. I believe that song jumps by Van Halen. We love you, guy. Check that out. It's got a message for you. Okay, the Eight of Cups. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Looks like you're walking away from something, and that moon don't look very happy, whoever it is. Okay. But you're not always walking away from something. It's what you're walking to. So let's find out. Listen to these words. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. Well, Eureka. Ah, that's an idea. So you're struggling to find those ideas and you're thinking about it. Because, you know, this is about betrayal. But you're coming out of betrayal. Maybe you betrayed yourself. Somebody betrayed you. Maybe about some idea you had. So keep it to yourself. Hold that vision. Shining bright to see. Just wait till you get it to come to pass before you show it what you got. No matter who you are. Shine a bright to see what you could truly be. So keep those ideas to yourself till you're ready to get them out. Because see, if you look at this card, this is the American Renaissance. That, ooh. Wow. Look at this card. It's about a guy who's kind of dead, you know, and they're, looks like they're, there's a pins with blood on them, man. So you're working hard. Pricking them fingers, man, you know, but it's an upside position. They can't, they can't take it from you no more, dude. So now we got Rock Steady by Aretha Franklin. That's what she feels now. One of these days, I'm going to play the music along with it, but I want to be heard right now. So, all right, what do we got about these visions? The Magician, there you go. I can't make this up. That is Gemini energy, and that's the magician using all the elements to create what it is you're thinking about, okay? You got it all. You got the elements. Use them. Don't let them use you. If you want to be the master manifester, you are Fuchius. All right. So we got the Knight of Wands. That's under the Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something that... Uh, that Knight of Wands upside down is a little bit of player energy. Kind of really, really sneaky. It's 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 enough in the upright, but it's really bad in the So what I'm feeling here is that you had some ideas before and somebody got them. So you're trying to keep that under wraps. So keep those. Somebody stole your work or something before or your ideas. So keep them close. All right, the Nine of Cups. So that's wish fulfillment. You're going to get to it, okay? The Ten of Swords, your betrayal. So this time, whatever you're working on, you're going to make it. And that's what you want. So just hold on to those visions. That's in the upright. All right, we're going to use the Da Vinci Enigma cards for our beautiful Ophiuchus. Yeah, don't let them men in black point them pins at you either. Unless they want you to sign a contract. These stars out there. Okay, we got the four of earth, which is the four of coins. So this one is where you're not holding back. You're going for something. You're not holding back anymore. Upright. Look how beautiful that card is it. That's assembly. So keep it to yourself till you get it assembled, okay? What do we got for the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups? Ten of Earth. Foundation. So it's on top of those two. And, you know... The Ritter and st stability of 
the Knight of Wands. He's not very stable. So it's on top of that. And here it's the foundation's a little rocky. So maybe you got to go back and make some plans and do it better. Maybe the last time it didn't work. And so you don't know what to do. So get together, think about it and make your plan and then keep it to yourself. The next song is Get Down On It by Cool In The Game. Okay, the four of air, repose. So like I said, you know, repose is also with that hangman. So the four of air is, you know, resting a little bit before you, before you put it out there. So rest on it till you got it done. All right, let's see what we got from the Wisdom of the House of Night by Colette Baron Reach. It's beautiful cards. You got your get your back up off the wall. How are you gonna do it if you really don't want to dance? So don't be afraid either. All the people saying, get down on it, get down on your ideas. All right, success. And it's in the upside down position so you didn't have success before okay all right so you got to try again what you gonna do all right the beauty that's what you want something beautiful you're creating okay and at number 40 and one and 39 may have significance okay that's what you want. You're thinking about something beautiful that you're creating. How are you going to do it if you really don't take a chance? You're back up off the wall. You know, sometimes, a lot of times, the Ophucius is our inventors, right? Like, I don't know if Orville Wright and Uber Wright was, I think that was his name. But, you know, Einstein and Edison and all of them. People thought they were crazy, but look where we are today, right? So, you go ahead and be crazy out there. Be, take that risk. Like I said, conclusion. Yeah, you're writing your book and you're writing your ending. You're doing it, dude, or do that. So, you make the conclusion. If you really want it, get down on it. Yes. Let's see what... Um, oh, hold on a second. Let's see what the witch's wisdom's got to say. And I only read these in upright, by the way. So it doesn't matter whether they're up or down. So male or female energy, I don't care in here. It's being strong, receptive, or being weak. But sometimes our weaknesses can be our strengths, and our strengths can be our weaknesses, so... You have the free will and choice. Okay. Litha. Intensification. So get in that tense mode. Take your intentions. Thinking about them. Yes. Get down on it. Okay. Astara. Incubation. Here. I can't make this up. There's so much thinking here. But so much thinking in this reads here. The, ha the hangman. Um... Yeah, there you go. The incubation, so get out of your head and emotions, but think about those ideas you got. It's okay, and then bring it out. And then magic or uh, magic circle, protection. You got protection, so protect your ideas until you're ready to get it out there. Hold on to your dreams and your ideas. Because you're going to make it. Get down on it, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, these are the Manifestation Manifesto cards. These are perfect for you guys. So this reading, is to me, is a lot about whatever ideas you've been working on and you failed in the past. Just keep going. Don't, don't stop. You're about five minutes before the miracle, man. Oh, freedom and greatness belong to those who master their day. There you go. You got it. The divine hand gives freely to all. So, 
ask for what you want and you shall get it through man manifestors you. Those who have won major victories realize that all the resources to win are within and that most knowledge needed to succeed is acquired after action. See, I just said that. All your resources are in here. All the victories of those inventors and idea making and creative guys had this to succeed after they made the motion. So don't always stay in your head. Get it out. You know what I'm saying? So you can succeed. Just take the action. All right, let's get... Um, the Divine Energy Oracle cards and see what your higher self is trying to tell you to bring to, con to your conscience here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Every breath you take, I'll be watching you. Okay, the next one is Party Lights by the Gap Band. The Gap Band 2 album. Party lights. So once you get that, you're going to party. And it, it might be something to do with parties. Who knows? If you're a star and you're the singer, go for your dreams. I can't make this up. People come through spirit. I love you so much. Thank you. Make no judgments. And don't let those hold you back. Don't let nobody's judgments hold you back. It's your dream. And don't be afraid. Look forward. There we go. We look forward to your whatever it is. The whole world is ready. All right. I got a stone for you guys. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give you uh, the wisdom of the hidden realms and see what we got for you guys as well. What's out there you just don't see yet. This is by Colette Barry Reed. I love her cards, man. The wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise. So as long as you are, you know, have good ideas and you have integrity and you compromise and don't compromise your own belief, you're all right. So the wise woman of Wonderland, and there you go, the thoughts and the wisdom of the Wonderland, you have unbeknownst potential. Woman or man, we ain't judging in here. Let's pull another one. Number 21 may be of significance. The Lady of the Gift. Generosity, receiving, and withholding. So there we go. Be generous to yourself. And whatever this is, it's probably going to be very generous to people. You re we will be receiving it. And then withholding your idea to you. Ready to let it go. And then it will be a gift to everyone and to yourself. All right, I'm going to give you guys a couple of stones for my beautiful Ophiuchus. And we want to celebrate with you, and you're going to have a big celebration as well when you get that idea, whatever it is, comes out. So I think this is a specific message to one of my dream weavers. There you go. Y'all are weaving your dreams. And all the rest of us creators are going to appreciate your work as well. And you're going to party hardy once you reach that level. All right. Let's see the quartz, what it is. Among the most abundant minerals on the planet, clear quartz is everywhere, but it's far from basic. A master manifester, you need this one, right? It was set in here, so it's a perfect card. So clear quartz is everywhere, but it's from basic. It's far from basic, a master manifester. Quartz is a programmable course is programmable so there you go it'll help you get those ideas in your head so give it a job and do it do wait, give it a job to do forgive me i stutter and it's okay because i'm perfect so give it a job to do and get busy there you go you need that little boost of motivation here all right the next song is brick house 
by the Commodores. Who needs it? Rock hounds. Quartz intensifies the power of all the stones in your crystal collection. Geminis. I can't make this up. Geminis are the lovers, but it's also the magician. The thinkers. Where to put it? Between your eyebrows during meditation. Okay, there you go. It'll open up that third eye and help them ideas. Help you come to conclusions and solutions. Where to put it? Oh, we already said that. When to use it? Maybe somebody really needs to put it there. When to use it? When you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you. See, that incubation, you're thinking too much. Just try it. Try it. If it fails, then try, try again. All right. In front of you, call on courts to help you see through the illusions. So do your mistakes or the fears. Clear the mind of self-doubt. Surrender. See, I can't pick this up. Surrender the will of the universe and start manifesting the impossible. Enhance your visions. So this, guys, will help you even more. If you feel, feel fearful or you think it won't work, just try it, man. You never know. She mighty mighty. She's letting it all hang out. Here's a sunstone. What it is. Sunstone emanates feel good vibes of warm and warmth and radiance. The stone's orange and red sparkling light affect aka spangling, aka vent, venture sense, is the result of copper illusion uh, inclusions reflecting light from within. See, I can't make this up. It comes from within. It's in that card. Who needs it? Fellas looking to operate on a higher plane. You can't miss that one. The vitamin D deprived all solar powered human beings who do not, in fact, harvest life force by turning up the brightness on their smartphones. In other words, it's from within and you got to get out and get your vitamin D because you're using up a lot of energy with those ideas that you got. It Believe me, I know. So make sure you take that vitamin D or at least when you don't have it, carry it around. So get out the smartphone and get on your meditation cushion and come up with those ideas. We need it. We need them. Like the smartphones. See? Where to put it? Anywhere you're looking for a boost in stamina. First thought. Oh, there you go. First idea. The gym. Sure, bro. You're going to find it in the gym. You might if you're on that treadmill. When to use it? Whenever it's time to get busy or when your disposition needs a little sunnying up, take back your shine. There you go. So don't let those naysayers or whoever they are, or even yourself, use those. All right, guys. Please like and share the video. If you have to go back and repeat it, that's okay. It's all right. So share this and subscribe, guys. Help. Uh, the show grow. I really appreciate you all, my newcomers and my fellow dream weavers, all of you. So, the song it's on now is Papa Was a Rolling Stone by The Temptations. So, Papa had a lot of ideas, didn't he? But he didn't leave anybody, anything left but alone. So, stop thinking with the lower half and traveling everywhere. And give us some of them good ideas from the head up there. All right, you guys. This is Spirit tuning out. So tune in next time. Spirit out. Have a good evening. Smooches.